Hey there, welcome to User Friendly AV. This is my new channel uh, dedicated to all things UX and UI in the world of integrated AV systems. My name is Kate and I've been programming uh, commercial AV control systems for a bit over a decade now, so it's been a little bit of time. <laughs> and over the years, I've found myself uh, really wanting to learn more about creating user-friendly systems specifically and really focusing on that user-friendly aspect. And you know, now, I just decided I want to start sharing what I've been learning with anyone else who might be on the same journey because I think there's a lot of value in sharing knowledge with each other. So that's why I decided to create this channel. Um, you know, I just, I think there's a magic in what it is that we do in AV and I just really want it to be the best that it can be. And I want others to appreciate it and see that value um, in what we do for a living, right? Because if you think about it, we're crafting experiences for people. And I know that's, you know, like a buzzword that like everybody says experience and stuff, but it's really true. You know, we're, we're integrating and directing the technology in the environment that surrounds somebody. And it's not just like a flat, uh, thing that you're interacting with, you know, at arm's length. It's really your whole environment when you're dealing with an AV system. And as a control programmer, we're kind of like writing that conversation between the user and the technology that is in that space. So we're getting feedback from the system and informing the user of what's happening. We're also trying to um, predict what the user wants to do so that we can understand their intentions and give them what they're trying to do, you know? Basically trying to make systems read their minds, right? Because that's what everybody wants. But, you know, unfortunately we don't always get that quite right. Um, and we can end up making the technology even more frustrating and intimidating for non-tech savvy users uh, than we really want it to be. Um, and that's just really not a good situation for anybody. And that's something that I hope that we can all avoid whenever possible. You know, back in my days as a service technician, um, I had more than one user actually tell me, I'm afraid to touch that. I don't want to touch anything because I might break it. Um, or don't show me how to use that because then everybody in the office will rely on me to run it. Um, and neither reaction really speaks that well for our industry. And it makes me a little sad every time I've heard it um, because I know the potential is there for so much more. And I feel like, you know, I really want people to want to touch these systems and interact with them because they're so cool. And I want to share that with people. Unfortunately, like I said, we don't always get that right. Um, and actually, in his book, The Design of Everyday Things, uh, Don Norman, who's like considered one of the fathers of user-friendly design, actually talks about an AV control system that kind of failed to live up to that potential. He writes, different control screens cover lights, sound, computer, and video projection. This requires the lecturer to go to one screen to adjust the light, a different screen to adjust sound levels, and yet a different screen to advance or control the images. It is a horrible cognitive interruption to the flow of the talk to go back and forth among the screens, perhaps to pause the video in order to make a comment or answer a question. It's not really great, is it? <laughs> so I think we need to ask ourselves, like, how do we make things better? How do we make sure we don't have somebody who looks at that system and goes, yeah, that's not very great. Um, how do we make these systems live up to their full potential? And how do we make them user friendly? Because I think making them user friendly is where we really unlock that key to their full potential. But what does user friendly even mean? The dictionary defines it as easy to learn, use, understand, or deal with. Another definition I like is designed with the needs of the user in mind. And I think that's what's really important is we're looking at the underlying needs of the user and trying to fill those needs and trying to design to them. What are they really trying to accomplish when they're using that system? What is that primary task that they have come into that room to complete independent of the technology? You know, are they trying to present something? Are they trying to communicate with somebody else? Um, are they trying to just, I don't know, listen to music and chill out, or, you know, something along those lines? Because each one of those things is gonna have a different design requirement to it. Um, and it's really important to make sure that we are figuring out which one it is uh, before we kind of get started. There is always going to be an underlying need that needs to be fulfilled and designing to that really should be the goal. Because, you know, after all, like that's the whole point of business, right? 
people give you money because they need something that you can provide to them. They don't just like give you money because they like you. I mean, I, I wish that was the case, but it's not, right? <laughs> so if you don't meet their needs, they're probably going to start looking elsewhere for somebody who will. And you don't really want that to happen, usually. What? So what, are, what do they really need, right? Um, I think mostly people need to communicate effectively and efficiently and not be messing around with technology because they're trying to communicate with other people, but at the same time, they also need to communicate with that technology that makes it all possible, right? It goes back to what I was saying about how as programmers, we're writing the script for that, that conversation because it is a conversation. It's, you know, what is the system doing? Does it understand what I'm trying to do? Uh, do I need to keep mashing buttons or do I need to just wait a minute? You know, all those sorts of things really go into designing what is really, you could be considered a user-friendly system. And I think that's where our value as integrators comes in. Um, and it's really important to kind of keep that in mind because because we are choreographing that dance of all that technology around people and bringing it all together in a way that's easy to understand. And I think that's what it comes down to is if we really have pride in our trade, we should be putting a lot of thought into how we're presenting all of this technology and all these technical concepts to people uh, through our design and our programming. We're trying to make it easy for people to understand uh, and not make them have to be experts in AV on top of what they're already experts in. You know, I'm not a brain surgeon. I can't engineer a, a car or something like that. You know, that's not where I'm the expert. I wouldn't want to have to do that. They shouldn't have to do my job because that's what I'm here for. Uh, and it's, you know, it's not just throwing in some black boxes and calling it a day. It's, it's really keeping that user in mind and trying to figure out what it is that they're trying to do uh, and make it make sense for them. And really, it's a creating magic for them, right? I mean, we're basically wizards in the AV industry because, like I said, we can make your whole environment respond to you and basically read your mind. And that is just really cool. So that's basically why I plan to share videos here, uh, focusing on UX concepts, uh, UI design tips, and whatever else I happen to pick up along this journey that I think might be relevant to other people who are also on the same path. I'm going to try to post uh, at least once a month, um, maybe more, but we'll see how that goes. I am a perpetual procrastinator. <laughs> So just trying to get one video out has taken me a while, so uh, we'll see. But I'm going to really try to get at least one a month, um, so hopefully that'll happen. Uh, I think this channel is going to be like part podcast and part tutorials, so there might be a little bit of a mix in between. Um, but one of the things I want to always do is share a recommendation for a book or other resource that I've found really helpful. So my first recommendation is actually going to be a book by Cliff Kwong and Robert Fabricant called User Friendly, How the Hidden Rules of Design Are Changing the Way We Live, Work, and Play. It's this really awesome, fascinating book about like how the term user-friendly has kind of come about and evolved um, over the past few decades and kind of how it's become what it is that we know now. Um, it's And it's all told through stories of things like uh, the invention of the QWERTY keyboard and how that like became a thing. Um, and Apple's use of metaphors in their design, um, things like the study of ergonomics or why a theater was failing to make money um, just because of like one simple little thing that somebody observed about the users uh, and it made a huge change. There's also um, a lot of stories about how poor design or the lack of design has actually had like disastrous consequences and actually, the book starts off talking about Three Mile Island and the whole nuclear incident that happened there. And it basically came down to just like this huge uh, miscommunication between the people that were working there and the technology that was running the whole power plant. It's it's really fascinating. I like I can't recommend this book enough. Like you should absolutely go read it. Like seriously, you'll learn a lot. And it's just like it's so good. So go check it out. It's it's really awesome. Well, I think that's enough for me for now. Uh, future videos will probably be a little bit more technical or mo more focused on a specific concept um, regarding UX or UI design or something like that. Um, so I hope you will come back and watch again. 
and uh, just join me on this journey of discovering what user-friendly AV really is and can be because it's just so cool and it's just really fun and I think everybody would enjoy it. Um, please reach out if you have any comments or suggestions for future topics. Uh, and I'm always on the hunt for new books or resources to learn from because I love to learn. So if you got them, please share them. You can drop a comment here or you can find me on Twitter at userfriendlyav, all one word. Um, so please reach out and let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you again. Have a good one.